Stevie, earlier on we talked, just just touched on the fact about the standard of the game and where the game is going. And it seems to be that uh, we're very harsh. All the pundits were very harsh on Gaelic games. Like it seems it doesn't be a week or a day goes by that somebody's having a go at it and saying it's yeah. negative as this, the other. Is it not bad shape? No way. I, I actually believe our games are getting stronger and stronger. You know, what a lot of people expect to see is top class entertainment every week and you're not going to get that but the reality is you have to look at the the broader picture here you know there's tactical battles going on week in week out and it's all about um, which manager gets the better over the the opposite manager and if you look at some of the 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 battles over the last while you know it's the it's the management that's making the difference as well it's not just on the pitch but the management the key decisions you know um, Jimmy McGuinness got one over on on James Horn last year in the All-Ireland Final because of some of the decisions he made and you know, even thinking back to the All Ireland final last year, it, it was entertaining in patches, but a lot of it was was dire enough football. You know, but we can't expect these players. They are amateur uh, footballers. You can't expect them to go hell for leather for seventy minutes uh, week in week out. But certainly, you know, the the entertainment value that they give in comparison to what what, what soccer um, provides us with is second to none. And um, I certainly believe that our games are getting stronger and stronger, and uh, the fitness levels and the strength of these players are getting stronger and stronger as well. And you know, you know, I would say that um, without a doubt, uh, the games are going in the right direction. But are you worried? You know, people talk about the fact that the formats uh, poor, it's lopsided. You know, people complain about the the lack of quality, less they perceived lack of quality in Ulster. And then you go to the likes of Connacht. You know, where Mayo were beating teams by twenty points. Kerry, mm-hmm. you know, the minefield of Munster football, where you're starting off against. I mean, no, no disrespect, yeah. the likes of Tipperary and Waterford. You know, is that the sort of football we want, or should there not be some? Should people not be looking at it to see is there a better format to come up with? Possibly, as I remember when I was a fresh-faced young fella coming on to the Armagh team, Logie, um, you spoke about it in end to end 10, year, 10, 11 years ago as well. Um, but, you know, there's always different formats you could possibly look at. Um, the beautiful game was only played down south, of course, you know, that's what they say. But um, certainly, I, I love the, the provincial champions, championships myself. Um, Ulster is always a minefield. You, you can never tell which team is going to really win it. Yes, Donegal have been the standout performers in, in, over the last couple of years, but um, apart from that, there you know you, you do look at Leinster. Uh, Dublin seem to have the stranglehold there at the minute, and, and Munster's uh, a non-event apart from Cork and Kerry show every year. Um, at the minute, Mayo are, are, are the strongest team by, by a country mile in, in Connacht. And you know, them three provincial championships seem to be a wee bit lopsided compared to the Ulster Championship. But you know, I still believe there's there's something uh, there's there's a lot of value in, in the provincial championships. Um, you know, I've been very lucky that I've won a number of uh, provincial titles myself, and you know, each and every one of them are, have a special. Um, meaning to, to, to me in terms of my uh, career as a footballer and you know I wouldn't like to see them being done away with. Well Steve I'm just going to ask you finally because it's always the question we ask you like if people can, we can talk all around it again, but the bottom line is who's going to win the All-Ireland? Who's going to win the All-Ireland? <laughs> I'll tell you who's not going to win it first <laughs> of all. <laughs> Unfortunately he's not going to be Armagh this year <laughs> that's for sure but um, who's going to win the All-Ireland? You're going to have the same candidates up there you know there's five teams in my opinion can go and potentially um, win the All-Ireland you've got Donegal the All-Ireland champions fantastic Fantastic team, Cork, the team that disappointed so many um, over the last couple of years, you know, and maybe disappointed themselves more than anybody else. But um, they're still a big, strong, physical team, and they're, they're a team full of talented players. Kerry's going to be there thereabouts because they've got the easy passage every year, and they still have the top class forwards. Um, thrown, you know, wouldn't rule them out. They had a disappointing uh, first round against Donegal, but they were still playing the All-Iron Champions and they'll get stronger and stronger as the championship goes on. And then you've got, in my opinion, the favourites, Dublin. The, the the standout team throughout the league, standout team throughout the, the past um, 12 months anyway, and uh, certainly they're getting stronger and stronger. They seem to be better prepared now than what they were when they won the All-Ireland two years ago. They've got more natural footballers on the pitch playing for them at the minute and you know they've got a lot of talented players and with the likes of Brogans in there um, you know it's going to be hard to rule them out but I think that the All-Ireland will be uh, Dublin's to lose but um, a close second will be Donegal of course. Interesting you never mentioned Mayo. I forgot about them. (laughs) (laughs) Six teams. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, quality.